Hello everybody, I'm back. Uh, she doesn't seem to be like wanting to rest, and I don't know if the, the mechanic is uh, broken, but uh, sometimes if she gets a little too stressed out, she'll pause and uh, take a break and just kind of reflect on her life and her decisions and, you know, how much she would really like to not be here right now. You gotta feel sorry for the poor girl. We're going to again talk about how gorgeous this pixel art is. Because this game is amazing looking. You know, but... I like pixel art. I like classic uh, 2D uh, two D adventure games. I really kind of miss this, uh, this style of art in video games. I think it's beautiful. Oh, there's, there's a phone ringing. Somebody trying to call us? Hello? Hello? Maybe I can get Jennifer to stop and uh, take a rest now. Take a rest. Take a rest. Ah, oh, there she is. She's resting a little bit. So, we're just gonna let her take a rest. <laughs> if you if you hear me saying that throughout the course of this uh this let's play, it's it's uh, a reference to um an anime uh by Satoshi by the late Satoshi Khan called Paranoia Agent, and there's a creepy little talking anime plush toy that's basically like the horror version of Hello Kitty, and one of the things that he says throughout the series and a very disturbing scene is take a rest, take a rest, take a rest. 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 Believe me, the longer it goes, the more deep down inside you will feel like you want to crawl underneath the covers and never come out because you'll never be loved again. Anyways, uh, Jennifer seems about rested, so we're going to pick her up and continue on with our lives. Yeah... I, I'll settle for I'll settle for like the the weary green look. That seems good. Come on, Jennifer, let's explore a bit. There's a ringing telephone, but who's on the phone? Nobody knows who's on the phone. What's in here? There's all sorts of rooms that you can explore in this game, um, and I believe that the events of the rooms change to uh how change to when you go in them. What's in here? Some eating utensils. Before anything happens, I want to get what's out of the out of here, but I don't want to go in there yet. No, not yet. A ham. I got some ham. I got the ham. I got the ham, ham, ham. The ham is very important because, well, there's a certain event, and I might need it. And I'm going to try to be, I again, I'm not quite sure how to trigger every single event in this game. I only know that some have been triggered, whether I th thought I had was triggering them or not. And, um, that gets, uh... Well, let's just say that gets a little, uh, little disconcerting when you're not prepared for certain events when they get triggered. So I want to kind of try to be as prepared as I can for everything, because you know luck favors the prepared. This is a key, a car key. Uh, it wasn't the key that I wanted. Now, if you can't, if you want. You can drive off in the car, and that'll uh, end the game for you. But it's, uh, I don't want to give you that ending right now. In fact, I might sh decide to show you guys uh, multiple playthroughs, and just so I can show you some of the different endings that I've gotten. I haven't found all of the endings yet, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just not that good or uh, dedicated of a clock tower player. There are some people who have legitimately played this game for all the endings, but there are so many endings in this game it's unreal like it's unthinkable how many endings there are to get um there's just so much you can do it's such a well done well-rounded robust adventure game the initial uh the initial story like the first original playthrough is fairly short but um i think that it uh it's fairly good you know that it's short because there's so much that you can do and 
it, it really does encourage multiple playthroughs. Can I, uh... Am I gonna get the, uh, the outside death this time? I'm probably not. Probably not. I think to get the outside death, you have to see the, uh, the shower death. Can I go outside, though? No, not yet. The door seems to be stuck. I can't go out. I can't go out that way yet. I might be getting the event where uh, where I'm gonna need the ham, which would be very exciting. Because it would be the first time I've survived that event and not had to start over. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna play through. This is uh, it, it's still it's it's like playing the game for the first time. No matter how many times you play it, it's just. It's that fucking good. It's so ahead of its time. It just the the it this it's it's simple and yet amazingly sophisticated at the same time. I wish there were more games like this that came out during this era. I wish there were people still making games like this. Um I've uh I try I've been trying out home recently, really enjoying it, really spooky atmosphere. And I don't think it's nearly as well done as this. Uh it seems to be more like a two D Resident Evil. Um, without, of course, all, like, the ridiculous zombie shooting, but, um, it still has that kind of early Resident Evil, collect the notes, solve the puzzles, open the doors type thing, whereas this is more of a straight-up horror experience. And there's actually very few puzzles in this game, and it's more about exploration. And I really wish that was more the rule instead of the exception with horror. I think the exploration genre is, um really best suited for horror, you know, instead of... Can I get in here? No. But I can get in here. I guess I have to try that door before I can get to the other one. Alright, that makes sense. I'll accept it. Uh, before I go in there, we're gonna go and check out this area. Do, 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 do. Hmm. What's this? Can I get her to move that? Yes, I think I can. Nothing is inside. Okay, so no. She was just going to look at it. What's up here? Looks like a bird's nest. Well, you push that over. Yes! Okay, awesome! This is exactly what I want. And now she's a little tired, the poor thing. What is this? The nest is full of eggs and junk. There's a key in here. A key is inside the nest. Now I've got the West Wing key. Not quite done in this room yet. So we're going to keep going a little bit more. There's one more thing I need out of this hallway. Uh, a couple more things, actually. And uh, I need to go in here. into this, like, storage room. This room is also handy if you're, in case you're running away from Scissor Man. Because, uh, then Jennifer will be terrified. And when she's terrified, she can do some pretty amazing things to get away from him. Uh, okay, I got the rope. I guess I won't be needing... Oh, wait. Well, what's in here? Some broken tableware. No, I guess I will be needing some of the things that... But I guess all I'll be needing is the rope, this one. Oh, hello. Got Nah, okay, so I will be needing the rope. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go out into the hall and try to let, try to let poor Jennifer rest a little bit once we get downstairs. Because, you know, pushing that poor box... That that exhausted her. That that freaking like pfft, she's beat. 
you know, between the bird, scissor man, pushing the box. She's getting a regular full workout tonight. She is getting her workout. But you know what? It's going to be okay. You know, because she's going to be like all buff and shit. And then, you know, in, in, in the neck clock tower game, she'll be like, all right, scissor man. What's that? You you want some? You want some of this? All right, take some of this. And then she'll like punch his lights out and it'll be like, okay, well, uh, that's no longer as, as scary, but uh, you go, Jennifer. It's too bad she's not like the the Jennifer from Dara Gentle's Phenomena, and she can just, who would just be able to like summon flies and kill Scissor Man, because that would be amazing. But again, probably not quite as scary. It would still be a great gameplay mechanic. Can you imagine that? Like, maybe like having to like wait a bit and you know just kind of summon the flies. I'm gonna try waiting and see if she'll like take a little rest here. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody's chasing you. Everything is a okay. Take a rest. Take a rest. Take a rest. Take a rest. All right. Okay. Fine. Don't take a rest. See if I care. Just rest a bit, honey. Fine. Whatever. We're just gonna walk on. Maybe she'll do so here. I. I again. I'm not really sure how long you have to wait for her to rest. Oh, there we go. She seems to like resting right there. That's right, honey. You just. Yeah, we're just gonna brush her hair a bit, tell her everything's okay, whisper soothing words in her ears. Yeah, you're feeling better. You're at peace. You're in zen. Your eyes are closed. Everything's gonna work out. So, only one of your friends have died so far, right? That's good. You know? We can still save one of them, I think. Do you know, I think everything is gonna be better. You just don't worry your pretty little head about any of it. It's gonna be okay. Okay, Jennifer? Yeah. You're fully rested. You're ready to go on. You're ready to save the rest of your friends. You're ready to find out what's going on. And then you're gonna try to get the heck out of here. Because this place is for creepy weirdos. And we're about tired of their shit. Aren't we, Jennifer? That's right. No more of this crap. We're gonna save our friends. Then we're gonna GTFO. Car key rope. I'm gonna use the rope, or you're gonna use the insecticide on the fridge. And you're gonna see why in a minute. Spray the insecticide. <sighs> yeah, because if you don't, like, killer bugs come out of there and they will come after you. I found a key. Pocketed the gold key. Now let's get out of here. See what else we can find. The sound design, by by the way, I, in this game is is perfect to me. I mean, even for its age, it's perfect. It's just fucking flawless. I love the sound design in this game so much. What does the gold key do? Oh, it gets me into here. What's this? Phone's ringing. Seems to have been recently used. Some of the drink is still left in there. Hmm. A silver key is under the glass. Oh, I have a silver key now. See who's on the telephone. <gasps> the phone line's been cut. What's in here? Various beverages. Hmm. What's in those cabinets? 
Looks like a burrow. There's some woman's clothes in here. This one's different. I got a black robe. Now I can see. Well, let's get out of here. Okay, so I so got out of there relatively safely. So the event that I imagined was going to happen, I don't think is going to happen yet. And we can keep exploring. And we haven't run into Scissor Man in a long time. And really, I'm kind of glad of that. Which means we'll probably run into him again later, though. In a place where I'm not expecting him. And uh, that's not going to be fun. But uh, we have keys. We've got a, quite a few keys. You know, and uh, we have a black robe. I wonder what we're going to use that for. Hmm. And uh, there's some weird things going on. Now, for those of you who have played this game and they're like, you should check this in this room. Guys, I've beaten this game. I've got, I've seen just about, and if I haven't gotten every ending, I've looked at all of them on YouTube. So I'm going to ask you not to spoil things for other people in the comments who, like me, just kind of want to play through everything and discover all the secrets on their own. I've found just about every single secret. There's only a few that I think elude me that I haven't been able to find solutions for anywhere. Like, again, the thing with the television set. But I know certain things about certain secrets. So uh, if you played this, don't spoil it for anybody. You know, don't don't spoil. What in God's name? Yes, I've played this before, but this room still freaks me out. The mural covers the entire wall. Part of it's hidden behind that shelf. There's a note here. Time will cause adherence. The clock tower's clock stopped. Hmm. See what's in the books. Huh? There's a piece of paper here. Hold the demon idol with care. A tree in a forest. A person in a crowd. The idol is on a statue. Hmm. Guess it's not gonna let me... Knock the shelf over? Yeah, it doesn't seem to... Doesn't seem to... Want me to. Hmm. The mule car. Interesting. Well, we can leave here for now, and we're gonna go into the West Wing. So there's obviously some sort of occultic rituals going on here. And I think I'm gonna cut the video here for tonight. Good night, everybody. More Clock Tower to come.